get started. Uh, the viewer pipeline has in it a bunch of stuff. Uh, the Alex Ivy viewer got an update. The 64-bit uh, got an update this week. It is very likely uh, that that is the last release candidate update and that we will promote that next week. Not Nothing is certain until it's in the past, but um, that's, that's the way it's looking right now. That's certainly our hope. Um, the, uh, and then we've got a, a maintenance viewer in the pipeline. Uh, the voice viewer um, has no known problems. Um, it will be uh, near the head of the line to get promoted after Alex Ivy. Of course, it will have gotten Alex Ivy merged in at that point, so we'll have to see what goes on with that. Um, the let's see what else we've got. The uh, 360 snapshot viewer um, is out there um, and is approaching, ready to become a release candidate. Uh, there's the Animesh project viewer. Um, similarly, that's that's going to be that project is moving forward. I would expect that in the next uh, couple of months to start moving towards release candidate status for sure. Um, and uh, we've got a rendering bug fix branch, um, which I hope we'll be doing some more of soon. The um, there will also be a, a, a will be a media update branch uh, that will that will update CEF and some of the other media handling post sixty uh, four bit release. Um, that's exists internally but hasn't yet we haven't actually started building viewers for it yet. Um, yes, I'm gonna be very glad to get the sixty four bit viewer out finally and uh, it will uh, I've got a blog post about it uh, that I hope to publish uh, when we do that. That's going to be about encouraging people to think about upgrading their operating systems because uh, the um, crash rate on 32-bit machines and on older versions of Windows is very dramatically higher than it is if you're on up-to-date Windows 10 and uh and running 64-bit. So, uh, I let me let me just look. I uh, I can tell you in just a second. Uh, boost, yes, it does. It's still 157, but we can. We can look at upgrading that after after we get it shipped. We'll want to. One of the other projects we'll be starting fairly quickly after that is to is to upgrade our go through yet another round of upgrading our tool chain uh, because we're behind one version on uh, Visual Studio. Uh, we may, yeah, we may have done that for other purposes, but we haven't incorporated it into the viewer yet. That gets used in a lot of places. Um, so that's the that's the viewer pipeline. Um, we will be deprecating everything that is not when we promote Alex Ivy. We'll be closing off access to all of our viewers that are not doing asset HTTP. Um, so that's moving another s step forward in its in its evolution. Uh, so sometime this year, I will I will want to. Uh, disable the ability to load the things that should be asset HTTP 
um, using UDPF through the simulator? Well, we won't force them to update. We just they just won't be able to load gestures or uh, animations, sounds, a whole bunch of other things. That yeah, I, some people cool. some people clearly are happy with using old old viewers as elaborate chat clients. So that, if that's what they want to do, that's fine. I still occasionally see viewers in the logs that are incapable of rendering mesh. Uh, to totally, totally just make a chat client. Yep. I, I should I should release my sidebar viewer again. Yeah. I wish you had an idea to make so you could dock floaters in other floaters and make tab floatery things. Other uh, other topics for the day? I had something, but I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah. I have an FMOD Studio patch set for you. It just needs to actually be test compiled, which I can't do because I don't have the right compilers. What are the right compilers? Uh, whatever you guys use, because I don't want to install another 10 gigs of stuff on my tiny SSD. Ah. Um, okay, did you put that in a storm gear? I still need to go make a storm gear and stuff, but uh, I'll have that done this afternoon. Cool. Uh, I'll I'll take a look at it. I Maybe mean, we can sneak it into the media update branch. And that would be cool. Yeah. I wonder what my arc is. I should I should really check that. It's something above my limit. That's all I know. 65,000. Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad for me. Oh, any updates on you guys revising the art? Uh, we're we're going to start working on that project again like in the next week or two, um, do another round of testing. We're going to refine our tests and do another round of testing. And then hopefully, given the numbers from that testing, we'll be able to look at uh, updating the formulas for, for rendering costs. This is good. 
So uh, that that sort of thing tends to be difficult to release. Uh, you know, it's the sort of thing that um, causes lots of confusion. But uh, we're determined to we're determined to try to fix some of the the bad incentives in the current formulation. So uh, there are definitely some things that we're not charging enough for. And there are probably some things that we're charging a little too much for. Uh, so we're going to fiddle with the numbers. So. Uh, would you limit uh, LED factor too? Oh, that's cool, Beck. That is that is a very good thing. So good for your crash rate because. Going above five can cause weird mathematical precision errors that also cause misallocations and other weird shit. So I may sound weird because I got ghost pepper residue in my nose and my whole face hurts. You all are very quiet today. Why did it get back out? You can hide that too. That's a good idea. Why didn't I do that yet? Mm hmm. I mean, you just need a copy pasteable paragraph for the support people. But the other option, of course, is that you don't hide it, you just fake it. Yeah, that, that's. Alchemy fakes it. Uh. It just it'll 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 show it as ten, but there's a validation that just kind of clamps it internally whenever it loads. Uh, honestly, I don't know if this has been addressed or not, but is there anything else being done with the group notices yet? Uh, we did. We did discover uh, a back-end problem and um, partially addressed it, um, but um, uh, we're, we're not we're not sure. It turns it turns out that if you if you leave the chat servers running for a, a really really long time, they eventually um, there's some kind of memory leak in them. They get they get big. But we did a round of restarts, and things seemed to get uh, significantly better. Um, but uh, um, I can't, I can't definitively say that we've fixed anything. Um, I'm going to try and get a project done to Im improve the initial delivery of of messages when you first log in, um, which won't be. Uh, which won't be it'll we'll do it through an entirely different mechanism instead of delivering them by UDP where we've reached the conclusion that sending them even even slowing them down 
um, sending them via UDP means that some of them are going to get lost. So, uh, So, uh, we'll, but we'll try and get that out sometime in the next few months. Box trash can. That that's a good one. I wonder if upset user resident is taken. I must go register that. Come on, I'm having yesterday's burrito for lunch today, so I can be here. <laughs> you guys gotta have more than that. Um, I don't know. It's it's too early. Did the did the firestorm release that you all were threatening to do ever actually happen? They threatened to release. What is this? I thought them getting a release out was more like, I don't know, watching paint dry. <laughs> that reminds me, I should just do a random alchemy release next, uh, today, maybe. Uh, Oz, I know you probably covered this, but have y'all released the 64-bit viewer yet? Um, updated, updated this week and is tentatively planned to promote to the default next week assuming that nothing bad turns out you just jinxed it by saying that oh well, it's okay I... we've been saying it a bunch and the goal is to find the showstopper before we release it and not after so <laughs> right if you jinxed it so be it right and we have QA people that are desperately trying to find one more showstopper no more showstoppers. Well, the end. I mean, there's probably a lot of showstoppers. No more showstoppers for you, Oz. That one has to get out soon. Uh, I, I, I did get your email, Kitty. I, I've just been swamped. Uh, I, I'll get back to it. I'm curious what the matrix would say that how many users have got more than four gigs of memory in which that 64-bit viewer would take advantage of. Uh, it's, it's pretty high. I mean, based on random computer hardware surveys on other services, lots and lots and lots of people have more than four gigabytes of RAM. Hey, uh, re 
recently got reduced down from 16 to 8 gigs of RAM due to a module failure. And it's interesting that the client just barely runs in it right now, and I got 64-bit build here. And uh, I was beginning to wonder, why is my computer slowing down? It was swapping all the time. I was really uh, hogging my memory, uh, running the client all maxed out. You should fix more memory leaks in the viewer. It'll improve then. Uh, that would be great. I do. When I get really, really drunk like the other night, and then, uh, I don't know, I fixed like seven memory leaks and made rig mesh rendering faster. Which, oh, I needed to contribute that. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't, seen, I haven't, seen, any, haven't seen any patches. Right yeah, I I need to I need to do that. This Patches or it didn't happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I haven't even released my viewer with the faster rig mesh rendering, which is totally looks like a hack and smells like a hack, and it's a little bit of a hack, but it it it, it works really well. Oh yeah, Kitty, I was going to give you that. Here, you can have that. You can contribute it for me so I don't have to file a JIRA. Uh, the uh, bug I mentioned the other day, I found a patch for it, and uh, I put it on the jar, uh, on Jira there. It was just a, a four or five line patch to fix it. Cool. Thank you. Uh, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be we're we're going to be putting together a, a collection of random bug fixes that didn't quite make it into Alex IV, so that will, that we'll, we'll look for there. Okay, well, um, if we don't have any new topics, we can. Oh yeah, I was call it early. Another thing I was going to ask about. Yeah. Can you guys update the documentation on how to use the new login page widgets? Yeah, what Kitty uh, said. Is it? Uh, I thought we did that. Um, the 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 obvious answer is yes, we can. But um, do you have a link handy? I'm looking. What's the link we have right now? Uh, I know that there let me yeah uh this didn't get updated. It was last updated in 2016. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll check into that. Um, I would expect that updated information should really go into the knowledge base, though. I mean, it's kind of for developer. You guys put. Yeah, we usually put developer okay. docs on the on the wiki. No. We'll, we'll um, discuss and either link to the knowledge base from here or update this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Beck, that's a great question. Uh, no. We don't have any docs that are not public. The code is the documentation? Uh, more or less. Yeah. I mean, we have documentation on, on project plans and that sort of thing, but we don't tend to do external design documents. External they don't get maintained. Would be a bad idea because it would also create expectations. Yeah. Um, um. In a lot of those docs, even though they're that old, kind of still apply because the SL protocol at its basis level hasn't really changed that much beyond moving things HTTP, but a lot of it's still on UDP. I'm working on figuring out why there was a performance regression between the viewer as it was like five years ago and the viewer as it is now. And there's a really weird performance regression, like a huge one. It's not even related to materials. I tested that. It's somewhere and I want to know. Uh, it, it, it is Windows, Lacey, well, it's also Mac. Um, Linux, the project will be, we have a separate project to try to upgrade the Linux viewer build to, um, 64 bits. We will also change it so that it's not, so that it's producing a Debian package and, um, and it will use system libraries instead of having all the all the libraries linked. Um, I will publish uh, that the repository already exists, but it's not up to date. I will get it up to date after we release Alex Ivy and publish it. And the extent to which I get contributions that help fix it uh, will determine how soon, if ever, there will be another Linux viewer. Um, Otherwise, we'll just if if people don't contribute fixes and to the project, then uh, then that won't happen. Will the source to that uh, uh, dev package be available so that people yeah. can rebuild it on different uh, distributions? Yeah, I mean it's viewer source, so it'll all be it'll all be there. I mean it is yeah, now. It is. The the repository is viewer dash Linux. It's under Linden Lab, viewer dash Linux, um, and it's, uh, but it's not. It, it doesn't work right now because the uh, Debian systems, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I worked on it. it had a, like a one-line command; it can rebuild from source. 
Yeah, I don't know if we'll quite go that far. Um, we'll we'll still wrap it in auto build uh, for various purposes, but internally it will be a Debian build. That will definitely make things easier to rebuild on the different distributions out there. Uh, in theory, right? Uh, I, I don't want uh, Jess to put out a contract on me, so I'm not going to try and steal anybody from Firestorm. Are they that valuable? <laughs> Jess might actually pay you to get rid of some of them. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah, you should hire Kitty. Kitty, Kitty needs a better job. Uh, as a completely unrelated update, we had uh, kind of screwed up by him to email recently, um, and I heard uh, there was some discussion about it during Simon's user group last week. Um, then another thing uh, triggered us to actually discover what was going on, and we fixed it now, and items to email for all verified emails should be okay now again. Sorry about that. Unscrewed that push. Okay. Uh, well, if we've run out of topics. Uh, any updates on the Winlight project thingy? Uh, it's continuing to make progress. Um, I, I'm making... Uh, oh, yeah. oh, there you are. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm hiding up here in the corner. Uh, continue, continuing to make progress. Um, my next step is, is to get... Uh, the, is to get uh, the the new settings objects so that they are actual assets and can be uh, stored and manipulated in the inventory. Um, and once I have that, I will be more comfortable setting up some regions on a DD with a uh, uh, with a. Uh, um, uh, uh, with the server that'll support it. This is also good. And then he'll get into the nightmare of trying to build a new UI for manipulating the new settings. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I won't even touch that with a headphone. It's bolt. his favorite part of the project, Shush. <laughs> I... I, I did a little bit of work in it yesterday in in the UI just so I could access some things that 
that I don't have an interface for and and developed a nervous tick in my left eyebrow. So <laughs> You mean you don't like handwriting the XML UI widgets? I, I what I like uh, I like even less that that there's no guarantee between two uh, between two dialogues that it'll look the same. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a thing too. Oh, and the fact that the offsets and relative positioning are different, just for no apparent reason. Even if you even if you copy paste the same file and just change one little thing, it suddenly changes everything. Most of that is the because a lot of them have been written in a mix of absolute and offset positioning, and that just never works. Uh, but, that should uh, all be relative, but we're not in the same world. We're in Second Life. I need to run. Thank you, folks. Really, would you like to redesign the Alchemy UI? I'll give you a spec sheet and money. You better give her Sherry. Wait, I could give her Sherry. That, that's that's an easy way. All right, bug fixes in exchange for vodka. So, Kitty, Kitty, did you look at my performance hack? You should peek at that. It's it's great. I don't know why I didn't think of that a year ago. Uh, no, no. This is a performance hack for, uh, Rigged mesh rendering to make it not slow as a potato. It, it gets rid of a very large chunk of the slow on that that code path. Very, very large chunk of the slow.